the Griffith Cottage Gallery has been open for around 20 years. I've been here for six years. We're a mixture of gallery and retail, coffee shop. Our local exhibitions, well we have one every month. They're just generally local artists. Uh, their work is, there's a few artists in particular that are just prolific. They're painting all the time. Their work is really exciting. They, so it's great to come out to the openings on a Friday night. You can have a champagne, you can meet the artist. You, um, it's, just, it's just a lovely environment to be in for the local arts community as well. They can all get together and uh, talk shop. Our local timber artist, La Harpy Kittle, uh, works and carves a lot in hue and things, beautiful timbers like hue and pine and he carves these most incredible birds that uh, free form, free standing, uh, that's just incredible work. I'm, a I'm an artist myself so I guess that's how I felt in love with the gallery in the first place. Uh, I'm a mosaic artist. Um, we do have a great variety of artists in this region, uh, the Riverina who we try to support. Uh, we also try to support emerging artists. Uh, we have some fabulous jewellery. Most of the jewellery has a bit of a story behind it. There's a couple of locals who now live in Victoria that we s supply their work. Christian Patocchio has a fabulous range of um, silver and resin jewellery. Uh, we also have some beautiful um, hand-blown glass from Victoria. There's a couple of uh, potters from Victoria, David Williams, one in particular. Then we also have a few people from Sydney. Samantha Robertson is a lovely ceramic artist who's generally fairly well known. Um, it's great to have her teapots and teacups and things like that. The Griffith Cottage Gallery has a great coffee shop as well. We're pretty famous for our homemade cakes and Genovese coffee. So we're just on the outskirts of town so we have quite a bit of space around us. It's unique for our area. People love to come out and spend time in the garden relaxing, 